Hello beautiful people, how are you all doing? Hope you are doing great. You are welcome to Joy Uzo TV. If this is your first time of coming across my video, you are very welcome. In this video, I will be showing you how I made this frontal not less braided wig without frontal. If it sounds like something you are interested in, then keep watching. I will be using this color 30 and I'm going to cut it into two. I will show you how I prep my attachment before using it, most especially if I cut it into two. I don't want to waste too much attachment, so just wash and see how I do it. I'm going to take it to a flat surface and brush it out. Make sure to hold it tight before brushing it and you are not going to waste too much extension and you will save your muscles. It's time to cut out our frontal. I already cut out my frontal. I used a 12 by 6 frontal. But I did not uh, record it. So I'm going to be cutting another frontal. This frontal, I'm going to be using it for another wig. For the wig, I'm going to be using this frontal for. I need a 12 by 4 frontal. So, but I'm going to be cutting out 12 by 5. From one part of my ear to the other is 12 inches. I cut at 12 and a half before, but I, went, I will go ahead to remove the half, making it 12 by 5, and I need 12 by 4. So you need one, like 1 inch extra, probably for your baby hair. Before I forget guys, the vertical part should be at the front it should be straight so you can get a straight line okay before you cut out your frontal you should measure your from one part of your ear to the other so you can get the inches that you want After cutting it out, I'm just going to cut out a little from the side to get that uh, round shape. When sewing the lace to your wig cap, you will want to start from one ear and stop at the middle. Then you start from the other ear, then stop at the middle so you can get a clean job. I'm just mapping out my airline so I just like a guideline so I know where to stop.
For ventilating the front tab, I used color 2 and I cut the attachment into 6. I already did half part of the front tab off camera. So I'm going to be showing you how I did it. Make sure to start from the middle at the back. You walk your way from the back to the front and then you walk your way to one side of the ear. When you are done with that, then you start from the middle again to the other side of the ear. That is the only way you can get a straight line. If you start from the ear part, you are not going to get what you want. I wanted to do that, but I could not. I just have to start at the middle. I picked two strands of extension. I ventilate on one hole, keep one hole, ventilate on the other hole. And also, I ventilate on one line, then skip one line, then the next line. I mean for the straight line, which is the vertical line, I skip a hole, ventilate on the other hole, skip a hole. Then on the horizontal part, I skip a line, then ventilate on the next line, then skip a line. I left two lines in between the bosses. On one side, I ventilated eight. Then on the other side, I ventilated the eleven. If you want a a square shape like a perfect square shape, you can ventilate eleven to eleven or eight to eight. I was making like a rectangle shape, not a square. If you understand what I mean. The first two lines at the left side, I ventilated two strands each. Then on the third line, I ventilated two strands on two holes. Then in the middle, I ventilated three strands. And second to the last and the last at the front, I ventilated two strands. Just like a bus, two buses was uh, two strands. And the middle, I ventilated three strands. At the front part of the bus, the line I left that I did not ventilate on, I later went back on that line and I ventilated like two holes on that line just to cover it up a little. I didn't want it too scanty. When I was ventilating the buses and it was remaining like four buses, I had to ventilate a straight line. Like this particular one was 30, 35. So I had to divide it by eight. It gave me four and it was remaining three. So I had to go ahead with the eight at the back and the remaining three at the front, nine on each bus for the remaining three at the front. You don't want to get to the last bus and then you realize that the space remaining is too big or is too small for that bus so I can get it as identical as possible. I'm going to pass my crochet hook through the wig cap and through the lace and it, then I'm going to braid on it later. Up 
before you start your knot less guys you have to bring out the attachment that you will be using the attachment is very dried so i will be using water to like bring it together you can also use gel if you want to i will be showing you three ways that you can make your knot less braids you can try any of them anyone that works for you is okay but for me i used the last method for all the knot less just to wash closely
wraps up for the night And I don't say a word It's not that I don't know I went tired to remove all the flyovers. I did it one after the other. And I'm going to sew in an elastic band just to keep the hair secure on my head. The next thing I'm going to do is to put the hair in hot water. I went ahead to add in some baby hairs at the front. I used human hair for this baby hair. If you have come this far or you found this video helpful, please do not forget to subscribe, turn on your notification bell so you get notified whenever I upload a new video. Like, share and comment. Also like and follow my page. And if you are a returning subscriber, you guys are the boss. Thanks for always stopping by. Thanks for your support. I do really appreciate you. God bless you. Guys, I'm not going to lie. I'm not a fan of frontal wig. I like whenever I come back home, I just remove my wig immediately. I did not install it on camera because it was my first time and it was a big struggle. I used uh, one glue like that. The first frontal wig I ever installed was not really a full installation. I just added glue at the ear part of the wig. I am sure in my next frontal video, I'm going to do better. And I will also get this got to be spray glue. I'm leaving my love blind, expecting you to read my mind. Feel free to check out my other videos and I will see you in my next video. Love you.